Several top South African artists are headlining this year's Khabarone International Music and Culture Week. Maakadzi, Mafigi Zola, Judith Sipuma and rapper MT are some of the local musicians billed to perform. Well, founded in August 2014, the week-long event is held every week of September to, to celebrate the city of Khaboroni through music, theater, comedy, poetry, fashion, as well as other cultural activities. But what can revelers really expect at this uh, festival? Well, we're joined now by Tapelo Fish Pabalinga for more insight on this. Thank you so much, Tapelo, for your time this morning. I mean, uh, we always share this when it comes to some of our guests speaking about how the last two years has certainly put a damper um, in terms of how people were gathering, um, were having to worry about a COVID-19 pandemic having to worry about safety security first but some way somehow thank goodness for this but we almost are coming out of the woodwork and people wanting to gather and get to know each other and have that human interaction and encounter once again but talk to us a little bit about the significance really of having this festival and showcasing it at this momentous time when we're all coming out again yeah thank you very much uh, for having me here this morning yeah of course after covid covid was quite hard uh, for everyone mm. you know so it is you know a uh, the right time for us to be able to bring GIMC because we could all use a, a, a good time, you know, a, a little breather, you know, especially coming out of COVID, as you said. So, yeah, yeah. so GIMC is a festival that we've uh, held since 2014, except in 2020 because of COVID. So we are back this year again uh, doing it bigger and better than before. We had nine shows this year uh, as opposed to previous years where we grew it from four, five, six, seven, now nine, as I said, yes. Sure. Yeah. Now, obviously, we are we, in our intro, we mentioned the artists, musicians mm. who are going to be headlining uh, the festival itself. But it's not just about the music. There is so much else to expect from it, you know, theatre and as well as comedy and such. Just what are the different acts we can expect in the different spheres of the GIMC? Yeah, you know, if I can quickly go through it, you know, the first event will be fitness and aerobics, uh, which is on Friday 26. So we are fusing you know health uh, and entertainment uh, the, into one and uh, then the following day we have jazz where we have berita judith sipoma Mposibina Sereti, quite a number of other artists in botswana then on sunday we have the champagne picnic so it's about fashion you guys come dressed in your nines you know looking good as you are this morning so yeah that's what it's about you know having a uh, profitable conversations and mm -hmm. uh, then the following day on monday we have theater mm -hmm. uh, we have a theater group in botswana then Tuesday, we have choral music where we are bringing a choir from Lesotho called Masicilia a St. Paul. The following day on Wednesday, we have poetry. Thursday, we move on to comedy. Uh, we have Tip Shampoo from South Africa. We have many other comedians from Botswana, from the likes of Mawe, Rip Craig, Bambino, etc. Uh, then on Friday, we have Clap and Tap. So it's about church music. We have a choir coming from South Africa called uh, Isaac and the Mighty Messengers. Then on Saturday, the 3rd of September, which will be the ninth show, we have the likes of uh, Makazi, V, you know, DJ Maporisa, MT, Mafiki Zolo. So, yeah, so it's a whole, you know, festivities of different things that people can look forward to. The reason why we do it like this is, uh, you know, people are not, um, you know, people like different things. Yeah. What I like is different from what you like, yeah. you know. So if I had to ask you out of all those nine shows, which one would you pick? I'm sure the three of us. All of them. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you are like me, you go to all of them, yeah. but you know, some pick two, some pick three, some pick one. And it's all acceptable because it speaks to the fact that human beings are diverse. We like different things. Yeah. yeah. You know, what is also beautiful is that you, you are able to showcase the talent and, and, and the scope from perhaps even the static region. Um, and just the importance of being able to even formulate those collaborations. I think that more than anything else, it's speaking to having to have an artist from South Africa meet an artist from Khaburuni and then something happens out of it. And to be more intentional about, about collaborative efforts between the countries, because otherwise we just produce music here in this country and then other one produces music here. And we really don't get an opportunity to expand our offering and even tap into different markets. And you're introducing a South African market in Botswana and the likewise Botswana into South Africa. How important is it to become more intentional really about how we expand music, expand theatre, expand poetry and the like and the creative space in general? Yes, I mean, that's true. You know, you find that uh, quite, quite a number of uh, South Botswana artists also come and perform here, especially in comedy. Mm. You know, Tips has been doing quite a, a good job in bringing them over. But, you know, the geographical boundaries that we find ourselves living in are somewhat almost becoming theoretical mm. because you find that some, as an example, you have a South African artist that is much bigger in Botswana than she is big, 
in, in South Africa. That's true. And this can also be vice versa. So GIMC is a platform that's uh, there for you know, the artists to be able to, to, to take advantage of. I always come to South Africa to come and speak about it here because I want South Africans to also come to Botswana. Mm -hmm. We always come into South Africa for the South African events. So yeah, you know, it's a, it's a well-run event that you know, we, we, we host it to international standards and you know, as a platform for African culture to be out there for people to be able to appreciate the, you know, how good and how long it has come. Mm. Abuti, you had me at bigger and better. I like, I like big and yeah. I like better. So yeah. in terms of size, what are we talking here? How many people are you expecting and just in, in the kind of venue? You know, we, we use different venues for, for different events. Uh, some events are as big as a thousand people. Some events will go as big as 15 to 20,000 people. Ooh. But when you look at it collectively throughout uh, the nine days, maybe, I don't know, 30, 40,000 people come through our gates. Mm. So it's big in any standards, you know, maybe as big as even some of the biggest in South Africa. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Some are really high niche premium events like, you know, the, the champagne picnic, yeah. you look at about maybe 300, 400 people attend and champagne flowing like, you know, yeah. you can't believe. <laughs> yeah. I think that they had you at the champagne yeah. flowing, right? <laughs> but but yeah. I think more than anything else is also around the business of creativity. And, and, and I don't know how many times I think it's very, it becomes very important, imperative to really speak about the business behind some of the, 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 the festivals that we have, the business behind entertainment. Because in itself, it's the entertainment business okay. and being able to handle it because there's a sustainability that you've managed to hone into if it's been in existence since 2014, which means that there's something that you're doing that is working, mm. right? So uh, how do you model it so that it becomes not just a festival that's gonna die? Because some festivals do, they take off and they shoot off for about two, three years and then you don't hear about them anymore because the business model of it is not able to and we can't sustain it so how have you managed to go into that business of entertainment to sustain it for as long as you have listen it hasn't been easy uh, but you've got to be tenacious you've got to believe in the big picture of what you're trying to put together obviously we are quite reliant on our partners yeah. uh, our corporate sponsors uh, the company my company that owns uh, GMC itself uh, has to come to the party they've got to be able to put their hand up and put their own money in, in putting this together but by and large I think we've turned the corner you know it's an event that people know they love they support and yeah you know we can always use more support from corporates there's no mm. two ways about it uh, but yes, yeah, so, uh, the whole idea is to try and drive it as a self-sustainable event. Uh, and one of the things that I like about it is GMC has created such a big value chain around it. Mm -hmm. uh, as an example, with all these artists that I'm telling you that we are bringing to South Africa, I mean, uh, Botswana uh, or even South African Airways, they run daily flights from here to South Africa mm -hmm. with a capacity of about 40, 50 people so we fly in at least uh, maybe 60 seats we need to buy mm. so we book an entire flight from south africa to botswana to be able to bring artists so even big companies big airlines like air botswana are beneficiaries out of uh, what we do you yeah, know sure. i mentioned that uh, masisila is coming from lesotho as 50 people the choir is 50 people they are going to sleep in botswana in an hotel mm -hmm. uh, they are going to eat and drink in Botswana Isaac and the mighty messengers I think there's 80 of them mm -hmm. so the value chain around it uh, is quite huge I mean for for somebody that is in catering mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you come and you, you, you feed 130 uh, people in these two choirs yeah. they eat breakfast they eat lunch they eat dinner and they are there for two three days so if as we call them a uh, bomb uh, in Botswana you know uh, the ladies and men that cook uh, yeah. uh, you know from their homes and what have you they make good money out of out yeah. of that at the end of the day when I go home to sleep that's the joy I get out of it you know uh, so we're able to impact the small businesses right up until the top uh, businesses so yeah I mean, I, just before we let you go, I, there's, there's things like Coachella, there's mm -hmm. your Tomorrowlands, there's all of these festivals around the world that you will only ever get to experience in those particular countries. Have you ever considered a South African version of the GIMC week? I pretty much think South Africa has uh, uh, maybe festivals. Mm -hmm. They may not exactly be the same as what we do, because we are at nine days. Uh, maybe my coffee, I don't know, they, they may be at less days. but. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's let let me win the battle of growing much bigger in my own country <laughs> before we, we, we venture out. But you know, as I say, I'm not big on geographical boundaries. Yeah. Uh, the festival is in Botswana. There's nothing stopping you from coming to South Africa to attend it. Yeah. You know, so we don't necessarily have to keep 
hoping that around people can come to it and we can also come to there. And I suppose there it's event. also a matter of pouring into the Botswana economy. You know, I yeah. mean, if you're going to yeah. bring an event to South Africa, it pours into the South African economy. So yeah. keep it go Botswana so that the Botswana you know, economy can benefit from Morena and Faith coming yeah. over from South Africa to Botswana. Yes, and we are the most hospitable nation out there. So come, you know, people are very warm, very welcoming, very safe country, yeah. you know, yeah. relatively. So yeah, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I think, you know, there's every reason for people to be able to visit Botswana. Yeah, absolutely. It's about uh, increasing tourism, especially mm. in relations yeah. between the two countries. And I think more than anything else, it's also exposing people to the different kinds of music genres that exist and the different people that are offering the set values and the set talents. All the best. Uh, for the event, I know that JMC, JMC. See, now I'm getting with the with the lingo, but it's JMC yes, will correct. be incredibly successful, yeah, and I'm yes. hoping that more and more people get to actually see the the beauty in 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 Botswana. It is what the the diamond country, so as to say. So yes. lots to see and lots to explore. Um, Ms. Babalinga, thank you very much for your time uh, this you. morning. You guys are invited. So is the rest of South Africa. Thank oh, you thank very, you much. very much. Oh, don't start with <laughs> Morena Mutupi already. You've already got an invitation. We're in trouble now.